Eyewitness News first told you about the grand jury report investigating lead and asbestos found in Scranton schools in September. Three former Scranton school district officials were charged by the Pennsylvania District Attorney's Office. Now today the office dropped the charges for former Chief Operating Officer Jeff Brazil and maintenance foreman Joseph Slack. WBRE 28, WYOU 22, Eyewitness News reporter Ravi the Janiswamy live for us in Scranton with more on the story. Ravi the Good evening, so former Superintendent Alexis Kirian now faces three misdemeanor counts of recklessly endangering another person. Now, this is a huge decrease from the original 28 felony counts of endangering the welfare of children and 23 misdemeanor counts of recklessly endangering another person. While Kirian's attorney declined to comment, I did speak with Slack's attorney, who tells me Slack is just relieved this whole thing is over. On Monday, the Attorney General's office dropped all charges for former Chief Operating Officer Jeff Brazil and former maintenance foreman Joseph Slack. In a statement to Eyewitness News, the office said, Mr. Slack and Brazil have since cooperated with our investigation and provided additional information. It is clear there were significant shortcomings by the former leaders of the school district. We are not carrying forward criminal charges against these two witnesses and will prudently continue our case on behalf of the public with a focus on health and safety of Scranton's children, educators, and families. I had informed the press when he was charged that day that he was innocent, that he never harmed children, he never placed any children at risk, and that we would prove this in this case. Joseph Slack's attorney, Tim Hinton, says Slack is ready to move forward. Mr. Slack is very happy to have this behind him. Uh, it's, it's been a very dark time in his life, but it truly made him appreciate his friends and family that were so supportive of him the last nine months. Hinton says the charges against Slack pertained to lead levels in the school's water supply, and the charges alleged Slack did not follow directives to make certain water fountains off limits. Even before charges were filed, we had met with the Attorney General's office investigators and informed them that he did in fact do what he was asked to do. In a statement, Missy McTiernan, current superintendent of the Scranton School District, said, now that this phase of the investigation is complete, the district can begin to move forward. We would like to thank the Attorney General's office and the Pennsylvania State Police for their efforts and professionalism. I also reached out to Brazil's attorney and have yet to hear back. Live in Scranton, Ravithi Janaswamy, 2822 Eyewitness News. Ravithi, thanks for the update.